Hi, it's Levi. And it's Eric, out from behind the camera to tell you, dear gamers, about how I went wrong in God of War Ragnarok, and by doing so, prevent all of you from making the same mistake I did. That mistake? Not trusting my fists. I tried to tell you. Much like Kratos in his Greek days, I was arrogant, stubborn, thinking my way was the right way, the only way. When really, God of War Ragnarok encourages all kinds of play styles, with one of the best featuring good old fisticuffs, left and right. But before we go any further, of course, spoilers for God of War Ragnarok endgame boss content. So, Levi and I were talking in the office about how much I was getting bodied. Specifically, by Berserker King Peralf and Valkyrie Queen Gana. Optional bosses you encounter after finishing the game's main story. Found in Midgard and Muselheim, these are the steepest challenges Ragnarok has to offer. Levi suggested a boxer build, centered around Kratos' trusty fisticuffs. I considered it, politely nodded, then closed my heart. But what is this boxer build? The key component is Linda's Lost Cuirass, a chess piece, part of an entire armor set you can find in some random box in Vanaheim. It has a high chance of dealing bonus damage with barehanded attacks, blocks, and parries, while also poisoning enemies. Solid double win. But here's why Lunda's armor is so strong, and it's in the item's description. When enemies are poisoned, their power level, a stat that essentially dictates how much damage they take, is reduced. Enemies with lower power levels than Kratos get stunned faster, lose health quicker, and hit way weaker, making the power level a vital number you should be checking on the regular. You can tell how you match up with any foe by what color their health bar appears as. Green means the enemy is a pushover, yellow indicates you're on equal footing. Meanwhile, orange and purple, it gets dicey. The rest of Linda's armor set is just as good, too. The Lost Bracers and Lost Belt grant increase melee damage against poison enemies by 40%, 20% per item if you wear both. Pair these with the Lost Cuirass and BAM! You're boxing with poison power. Prior to my epiphany, I was using Soul's armor set, which increases melee damage based on rage and uses that meter as a second health bar, coupled with amulets enhancing damage output at low health. This build worked like a charm for most of the game until reality set in. This king and queen duo whooped my ass all the way back to Sparta. I banged my head against the metaphorical brick wall for hours, folks. My tried and true strategy was faltering. Had I actually been trash this whole time? Would I need to turn in my gamer card? Very important questions. Things were looking bleak until I heard Levi's voice in my head. Switch it up. Use the fisticuffs. Lo and behold, I boxed these chumps straight to Helheim with a 300 kick for good measure. Here, have a look at what sweet victory looks like. They ain't coming back from that. Routines are great and all, but it's also good to change up your playstyle sometimes. There's really nothing wrong with going back to the drawing board and trying something new. That's right. Learn from me, gamers. Be flexible. Don't get set in your ways. You can always find success by going a different route and taking the advice of your friends. So tell me, gamers, are you listening to your friends? 
Let us know in the comments below if you have mixed things up in God of War Ragnarok's endgame. Video, Video games, games forever, forever. Kotaku.com. Kotaku